Okie dokie. So with these rules in mind over here, we are going to attack this problem. So the first step I would say is we are going to use this third rule over here to bring all the coefficients up as exponents um, for each of the logarithms. So we have negative 2. We're going to bring up as the exponent for. So we have ln of t squared minus 9. We're going to bring up that negative 2 as the exponent for that uh, term. So then we bring up the 4. We have plus ln of t minus 3. And t minus 3 is raised to the 4th now because we brought it up to the exponent. Then the last term does not have coefficient, so we just leave it as ln of 3t. Okay, well the next step is to condense all three of these into a single natural log. So we're going to do that by recognizing we have ln of uh, something plus ln plus ln. So it's all addition in between the natural log. So we're using this first rule up here, which says addition condenses into multiplication. So we can do all three of these terms in one step by saying we have ln of t squared minus 9 to the negative 2 times the next inside piece, t minus 3 to the fourth times the next inside piece, which is 3t. Wow. Okay. So uh, we have everything inside a single natural log, but we still need to do some simplifying to get it how they have it in the answer choices here. So this next step is where the little uh, exponent rule comes in with the negatives up here. So x to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over x to the positive 2. What that means is we can rewrite the first term here as 1 over t squared minus 9 to the positive 2. So when it was negative 2 on top, we can move it to the bottom or denominator as a positive 2. So then we can leave the other terms as they are. All right, so we're getting closer. What I'm going to do, see if I can highlight just this stuff right here. And shrink it down so we can fit more writing in here. So the following steps, we have four, and basically what we have so far is ln of t minus three to the fourth, three t over t squared minus nine squared. So um, we're getting closer. We can probably eliminate some options right off the bat. Um, A, not looking very good. Um, B looks questionable. Let's move on to C, D. Yeah, they all look a little suspicious. It's, it's hard to tell yet. So we're going to keep simplifying. So we look at the bottom and we notice that t squared minus 9 can be factored. So we say, oh boy, let's do some factoring on the bottom here. We have ln of, we can leave everything the same up top, which is nice. We have 3t, and on the bottom, the t squared minus 9 can actually be factored into t plus 3 and t minus 3. And since t squared minus 9 is equivalent to these two, but if t squared minus 9 was squared, then that means all of this must also be squared, which means that this is equivalent to t minus 3 to the fourth times 3t over t plus 3 squared t minus 3 squared. So since the entire t squared minus 9 was squared, that means each of its factors must be squared too. So now we're getting to our last step, 6, where we can cancel out some of the terms on top and bottom. So we have t minus 3 to the 4th on top, and t minus 3 to the 2nd on the bottom. So we can cancel out two of them from the bottom and the top, leaving us with t minus 3 squared on top. So our final answer is ln of t minus 3 
squared times 3t all divided by t plus 3 squared. Now let's see if we can identify this answer. I'm going to actually cut this out and bring it over here. Let's see if we can find which answer it matches from our choices here. Okie dokie. Clear this out a little bit. All right, so we have t plus 3 squared on the bottom. So that leaves us with, we can eliminate option C. So it leaves us with B or D. And then it looks like option D still has t minus 3 to the fourth, but our answer has t minus 3 squared. So can't be D. So we're hoping for option B. Let's bring out the eraser. And we find out that B is the correct answer. And I'll scroll over just so you can see the remaining work.